Hello everyone and welcome back to Just Stem Stuff. Happy New Year everyone! Happy 2021! Um, 2020 was definitely a year for all of us, but to be completely honest, it was one of my best. So first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to all the well-wishers who have supported me in my journey thus far. I'm so excited to continue this fantastic innovation journey with you, and I hope you take a little something away from each video or each workshop that I run. Along with this, many of you have reached out to me individually, and I've tried to consolidate all of the questions and answer all of them in one video so that you can refer back to it anytime. I've also received a lot of feedback about how I can improve some of my work, and I will definitely be taking them into consideration while developing my projects further. So let's get right on into the video. Question one, where do you get your inspiration? So I get this question a lot, and my biggest answer to you is I'm inspired by everything and anything around me. However, I only look towards solving it if I find a personal connection with the problem, which I think is something that makes me want to continue going and keeping up that motivation to solve issues in society. So I look for problems on the news, for magazines, but I actually don't look out for these things looking for a problem specifically. I watch them just for fun and try to pick up something that may be considerable to solve. Question two, what process do you use? So this is a great question. And my process is a five-step process, which is observe, brainstorm, research, build, and communicate. And I like to use the mnemonic old bananas regularly belonging cake, which is also a pretty good baking tip. Um, but this is the process I use for every single one of my devices. And it has stayed consistent and had, it has worked for me. And I hope it works for all of you guys as well. But the biggest thing about innovation is innovation goes at your own pace. So this process that I use can take me anywhere from one day to one year. It just depends on how motivated I am to keep solving a problem. Question three. How do you start a project? So this is a fantastic question as well because sometimes it's really easy to get lost. But I really like using the concept of ikigai. And what that means is your reason for being. So my biggest piece of advice is draw three circles on a piece of paper and label one your visions, label one your goals, and label one your interests. And try to find something that will be right in the middle. So something that combines your visions, goals, and interests. This is something you love to do. This is your passion. And this is how I work off to solve a problem. I use my passion to create solutions in the world. And I think that it is a great way to stay motivated and continue innovating. Question four, where do you find mentors? So this is a great question, but it's also one that might be a little bit hard to answer. So finding a mentor seems like a very hard and tedious task, but it's actually a fairly simple process. A lot of the mentors that I've worked with or the researchers that I've partnered with actually just came through a quick online Google search. So that's what I suggest all of you to do. If you're looking for somebody in your subject matter that you would like to reach out to, a simple Google search to find their email and shooting out a cold email to them always does the trick and the biggest thing to remember here is that it is okay to get a no because the no is the worst thing you're going to get you can continue to try and you can continue to reach out to more people because there is nothing stopping you but yourself question five why do i innovate so this is a cool question, especially because it can be taken a lot of different ways. But the reason for me innovating is just because I love to see people benefiting from the work that I do. And whether that is something is picking up trash off the side of the road or creating something to help solve the opioid addiction crisis, I believe everything that I do makes a difference in my society. And that's why I do it. I love seeing positive impact and positive change come out of the work that I do. So I use science and technology to solve global problems in my society society. Question six, how do I communicate my ideas? So this one might be a little bit broad, especially because communicating your ideas has a lot of different portions to it. But my biggest piece of advice is know that you know your project and your idea better than anyone else. And the best ways of communication are talking about it wherever you go, wherever you think it is relevant, but also sharing your work on social media and other online platforms for a better outcome of your idea. And the biggest thing to remember is that while your work is also valid, it is also the idea of 
spreading awareness on a problem that you are solving. So when I was creating Tethys, while I did look at t helping others learn more about carbon nanotube sensors, I also talked a lot about the Flint water crisis and how many people are having to deal with lead contaminated water all over the world. So when you communicate your ideas, make sure to share not only your work, but also the problem that you're solving. Question seven, how do you manage your time? So managing your time seems like a lot of work, especially when you only have 24 hours in a day. But my biggest piece of advice is look for what you want to do, not what you need to do. So when I innovate, when I do the activities that I love to do, I attempt to make sure that it's everything that I love to do so that I don't feel like I'm doing any extra work or anything extra that makes my day worse. Every new day is a new adventure for me, which makes me very excited to get up and keep going and keeps me motivated to manage my time and I will be completely transparent here and say that I still have not perfected the art of managing my time but I can tell you that I love what I do and that makes it that much easier. All right, everyone, that is all the time I have today to answer some of your guys' questions, but make sure to reach out to me at gitanjalirao.net forward slash contact or check the description box below for the link, and I will make sure to do more of these periodically to answer more of your questions. Also, I will be publishing a blog post with even more answers since I couldn't get to all of your questions today, which will now be released in the next couple of days, so make sure to find the link to that in the description box below as well, or just look down here. And I just want to wish all of you a fantastic new year again. And thank you so much for tuning in to Just Dumb Stuff. See you later. Bye.